Jackson untouched into the end zone. Really proud of my team and how hard they battled and fought and scratched and clawed in another Coastal Division game, the fourth in a row. We kept our home record as dominant, and which is a core part of building a program. We have two road wins back to back, and that's really important for this program to continue to grow and expand is be able to travel uh, and play well regardless of where you go. And so that kind of frames this next test. Sims in the pocket, throws, and it's going to be picked off. I love the every play effort and finish and willingness uh, of a team um, to just learn to do something from start to finish. And I spend most of my time in team meetings highlighting and pointing out that wherever I see it. And we see it from receivers downfield, we see it from offensive linemen, we see it from defensive players, we see it from our quarterback, um, see it from our long snapper, right? And, and it's one of the best gifts I can help players with is learning grit and resiliency and determination and, and staying power. There's challenges that are gonna come. And so I try to teach that through the game of football the best I can. Georgia Tech did a really nice job of executing and the way they aligned, our alignment didn't match. We got out leveraged and, and we have um, uh, assignments that are really clear and a little bit of miscommunication that happened on the ex by the same two players back to back. And that's all coaching, which is me, right? So I have to make it clearer, get them aligned uh, more effectively, but really players play as they're prepared. Heaves a prayer towards the end zone and completes. Knocked down! BYU is near and dear to my heart. Um, they gave me an opportunity to be a head coach. Um, 13 years, uh, I was at Brigham Young University. My father played there, my brother played there. I lived close by. Um, and so, yeah, I just, um, it's an amazing experience to now be able to, to return. But it's been six years. Uh, and I'm the coach at, at the University of Virginia and so thankful to be here.